it's me, Julie Faye Fan Balzer from Balzer Designs. And hello! So today we're going to be doing stenciled foiling, which you can see in the image coming up right here. And this is using the Balzer Designs Repeating Pod Stencil. That's a new stencil for 2015. But for this uh, demo, I'm going to be using the Balzer Designs Rug Stencil, which is also a new stencil for 2015. I'm working on a black tag. You could work on any service that you want. I just think a black tag has some kind of nice impact. We're going to be using rubber cement. This happens to be called paper cement, but it's the same thing. It's just the acid-free version of rubber cement. And rubber cement is something you can buy at a drugstore. It has a little brush in the cap. It's glue, so uh, you should know that and be careful with it. Now, as far as your stencil, you can place it down on your tag any way you want, any direction, any whatever. And once you've settled in, feel free to go ahead and uh, glop it on there. That's a technical term. You want to just glop it. Um, so you do want to make sure you have a fairly even layer, that it's not too thick. The glopping was kind of a joke. Um, you can load up your brush and really just go over the whole thing. And then when you're done, you're going to close up your rubber cement and you're going to peel off your stencil. And now when you'll see this rubber cement is thick enough that it actually stays within the lines of the stencil really, really well. Can you see that? It really, it did not drift under the stencil, which is kind of nice. So I'm going to set that aside to dry. Now I rarely clean my stencils. I'm known as the dirty girl because I do not clean my stencils, but I am going to clean this one. I'm going to put a piece of paper towel underneath and just clean it off with a baby wipe. And the reason I'm cleaning it is just because the glue might actually interfere with the use of my stencil, whereas paint or ink, which you can see it's covered with, doesn't do that. So no problem. And I have to have some duct tape on the edge there that I just use as handles. So I'm going to let this dry. And if you look closely at, like, let's say the edge, you can see that it's still shiny, but it's slightly more matte. And that's an indication that that little area is dry, just so you know. But I will be back once this has dried. And ha ha, through the magic of video, there it is. It's all dry and it's ready to go. Another way you can tell whether it's dry is stick your finger in it. And if it doesn't come off on your finger, it's dry. So this is a piece of foil. Um, but actually, one of the cool things about this technique is you can use not just a new piece of foil, but a used piece of foil. Do you see the little dash marks that are missing? from this piece of foil. That's because I used it for another project and the foil was removed there. Um, so we're going to use that. And you can see I put the colored side up and the silver side, which you can see up in the corner on that other piece of foil down. I'm taking a bone folder and I'm just rubbing. And now the foil is only going to stick to the places where A, there is that dried rubber cement and B, where there is actually foil. So like in the little dash marks will now be missing, which you can kind of see right there if you look really Really close in the camera focuses please there you go you can see those little dash marks missing from there which is cool because you can actually fill that in with an opposing color of foil so that you actually see sort of a pattern in a pattern and there you can see where it removed the foil from this piece but this piece is not trash I can keep using it up as I go just applying it around 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 now it takes a little longer to foil this way using up your little bits and pieces but it makes me feel good because I feel like nothing's going to waste foil can be uh, not it's not expensive it's a little bit uh, but you know it's precious I don't want to use it all up so again that's another used piece that's going down here and I'm just taking the bone folder and doing that and I'm just using a million little used pieces up okay and there you can see I filled that in with a little bit of red so you see the dashes even more closely you can also mix up your foils. I've been using rainbow foil for this, but um, I'm going to take some sort of holographic purple green foil now. And I'm going to go ahead and use that and mix it up. You can use highly contrasting colors or not. The foil um, transfer foil rips pretty easily. You can also cut it with scissors. It's great stuff, and I highly recommend investing in some and trying it out. Anyway, so I'm just going to continue to rub, 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 and I do feel the tag every now and then to see if there's anywhere that is still sticky. And when I'm done, look how cool that is. I've got this awesome transfer foil design. Um, which looks exactly like my stencil. And that's the thing that blows my mind. It really, really, the stencil comes through and it's super shiny. It's a mixture of colors. If you're a person who just likes something simple like gold, you could go with just gold. But um, try out rubber cement with your stencils. The one thing I'll tell you is it doesn't work with other adhesives. It really has to be rubber cement. So give it a try. And of course, you should visit my blog, balzerdesigns.typepad.com for more tips, tricks, and ideas. Thanks so much.